This video we're going to get the perimeter of a square and with algebra and the reason we're going to use algebra is because we're going to do slightly more complicated examples next. Okay, so I know you can get the perimeter of this square uh, or the find you're going to find the length of this square easily enough without algebra but I'd really like you to use algebra for the practice. So please um, draw a square, that's always a good thing to do. Okay. You don't have to take this down, but just solve the question. Perimeter of where is 128 meters, find the length of one side. Okay. So the perimeter, again, remember, is the distance all the way around. It's this side, this side, this side, and this side. All four sides. Okay. And I know that all you have to do is divide by four and get 32. I know that's the answer. That's But what I'd like you to do is just use algebra so that when we get the more complicated example and figure it out in our head um, like this then we can we have some practice with using letters and stuff so we're going to label one side x okay and you might see that all all sides <coughs> excuse me all sides are of length x so this is x this is x this is x okay and that's the only number and, and I, I'll just break it all the way down, but like x plus x plus x plus x, that's the perimeter, right? And all of that equals 128. You're familiar with that, right? Or you could say that this is 1x, 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 and 1x. You could say that 4x equals 128. And you might have come up with that already, right? But the four sides, four times the length of a side equals 128. So all you have to do is solve the equation, right? Excuse me. So divide both sides by 4 and we get the 4's cross cancel. We get x equals 4 into 4 goes once, 4 into 12 goes 3 times, 4 into 8 goes 2 times. So 4 into 12 went 3 times, 4 into 8, 2 times. So x equals 32 over 1, th okay, 32 meters. And that makes sense. Like 4 times 32 would be 128, right?